Darling and this week I'm going to do a first impression slash review on the Edible Art Sweet Sticks paint. I was very fortunate to be sent some recently so I've had a little play and recorded it to share with you. So I was very fortunate to be sent the more primary matte colours in this set and that is blue, pink, green, white, yellow, red, orange and black. And I also received a metallic set which was a lot of gold, a couple of pinks, a pearl white and a couple of silvers. I wanted to demonstrate in this video how these paints work painting both finely and on larger areas. So with the matte set I did some fine writing and detail painting and with the metallics I used broader strokes and did more of a colour chart of the metallic golds into the pinks. Now I struggled to actually think of what to write here but then the light bulb went off obviously hashtag yes darling what else would make any sense on my page. So I made myself a template so everything was nice and level and a beautiful font and I also made a template for a floral wreath around the outside, printed it off and then because this is just an ice board I traced it using pencil onto my dry fondant. If I was doing this in real life on a cake I would just use a scribe and score over the pattern into my fondant on the cake. Now these paints they're super 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 pigmented and they have to be shaken really really well before you start using them and during when you're using them as well. So I gave my first paint, the pink one, obviously, a really good shake and squeezed a few drops into a paint palette. I then took a very fine, good quality brush, that's really, really important here, loaded up my paint brush and then started following over my lines. And you will see super clearly from this video, this paint doesn't go anywhere. There's no bleeding, there's no running, it just goes where you put it and it goes on beautifully. That's normally my biggest struggle when I'm making my own paint, is getting the consistency right. One, so it's not grainy and lumpy and two, so it's not watery and runny and bleeding out. So I continued along until I'd covered the whole hashtag yes darling and then I moved on to my floral wreath. Now to start with I stuck to the same pink and then I moved on to actually mixing some of the paints together so I wanted more of a mid pink and then a lighter pink as well. So I took some of my white paint, again shook that really well, squeezed a few drops into my paint palette and then took some of my pink that was already in there and mixed that through so I had a lighter shade of pink. And of course same brand of paint so it mixed perfectly. I then continued around my template just filling in any bits I wanted to with my mid shade pink. I actually went for a lighter shade pink as well for my little buds and then I added some detail back in with the darker shade of pink. I also used some of the green paint and made that lighter by adding a tiny bit of it to some white paint. But with every single colour, I used it straight from the bottle. Now you don't have to use these straight from the bottle. You can add alcohol to them if you wish and thin them out and make them more watercolory. For watercolour washes over cake, you would just thin these down using alcohol or lemon juice, whatever you prefer to use. Now I haven't done watercolour in this video, but that's certainly one to come in the future. So this is my demo board for the fine paint painting as you can see all the lines are nice and clean there's no bleeding there's no smudging and the best thing is when I touch this now nothing comes off anywhere at all it's just completely dry the color stays on there and you haven't got to worry about smudging it for my metallics I really just wanted a way to showcase all these golds and then the pinks as well so for this I just split up a board into seven and took it in turns to brush on my favorite shades of the golds now I've shown you each color here as I'm brushing it on some of them I found went on much better and more smooth than others. The glamorous gold, champagne gold, rose gold and pink diamonds in particular I found one went really really smoothly. So easy, no graininess at all. I did find the slightly darker colours, so the burnt bronze, the honey gold and the sunkissed gold were just a tiny bit more grainy but absolutely nothing that couldn't be evened out once it dried and had a second coat applied. And I always do second coats of paint anyway. A lot of times I actually do third coats of paint but this stuff doesn't actually Either. I can't wait to be able to get on real cakes. I've, I've got visions of painting entire tears in gold or rose gold or champagne. They're just, oh God, they're so pretty and there's so many different options for these. I was looking through the Sweet Sticks AU hashtag on Instagram and the number of things people are doing, like gorgeous blues splattered with um, gold or brushed over with silver, looks really, really nice. Obviously, all the watercolours look absolutely amazing. So there's just so much that can be done and I want to do all of it. Now, I believe there are 38 colours in the the sweet sticks range I think that's right I think my best way to sum up my overall opinion on these paints is that I will buy every single color I want the entire range of these because I think they're absolutely brilliant they save so much time it's so much easier to just grab a bottle shake it and use it it's that, that to me is ideal and we all know how impatient I am so mixing paint and fiddling around doing that also the other thing that I should have said when you're mixing a specific shade to go onto a cake say you're trying to get a rose gold you get a little bit around the cake you need to mix more up doesn't no, 
it never ever matches. Whereas you have ready mixed bottles of paint, it's always gonna match. Big bonus. Some information, these paints paint pretty much onto every edible surface. However, I've seen recently on the Sweet Six Instagram that they don't recommend you paint on chocolate or royal icing. And another however, I don't even know if you can have two however's in a sentence. So however they say you can't do that. However, they do say that with certain people's recipes, people have been sending in pictures saying, well, it's worked on my royal icing, it's worked on my chocolate. So potentially with different recipes, it may work. I painted straight onto ganache with some silver. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that in my stories and it works amazingly. But things like fondant, gum paste, buttercream, all the usual things, absolutely fine. Go straight on it with the paints. You can get your edible art sweet sticks paints from Chrissy Cakes and Supplies. I'm gonna leave a link to her website underneath here. She is in the UK, but she ships worldwide as well. So wherever you may be, you can get them via her website. So that is my little review slash first impressions of the edible art sweet sticks paints. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. There are brand new videos every single Monday. If you are baking or cake decorating yourself this week, make sure you take photos, upload them to Instagram and use hashtag YesDarling as it says on my t-shirt and I will give you a shout out in my stories on Monday. If you would like hashtag YesDarling t-shirt, there is a link right underneath this video where you can get your own. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week.